Dear Scorpio, welcome back for another weekly message. I am going to advise that I have started a new style of spread on the channel. So your weeklies will now look like this. You'll see in just a moment as I shuffle Holy Spirit on behalf of Dear Scorpio. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Dear Scorpio. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Scorpio. I'm so excited, you all. I hope all is blessed in your world. Thanks for your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares that helped almost get me to 10,000 subscribers. You guys, the love is real. I couldn't be here without you. Oh, dear Scorpio. This is divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy, okay? I'll let you know what the cards mean in just a moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is on behalf of dear Scorpio. Thank you for using me as a vessel to deliver the message on behalf of dear Scorpio. Now, you guys, I might have said dear Libra at the very beginning. Pardon me if I did. Perhaps some of you are dealing with Libras. Let's see what the cards have to say. This, my dear Scorpios, will be the outcome of the journey for you both in May 2020 in specific. We're going to read that towards the end of the reading. Overall energies, bottom of the deck. Woo, the page of wands, sultry. Look at that smirk. I don't know if you can see, but this page seems to be smirking with her eyes. His or hers, but looks pretty feminine to me. <laughs> yeah, her eyes. Oh, the Scorpio. So the page is always sending a message. It's alluding to the fact, okay? And wands are the fire element. Yes, my love. I want to go fish princess crackers. Okay, I'll get you some crackers in a moment. No. Oh, dear Scorpio. No, okay, sweetie, please go in the room. Thank you. I'll get it for you. Mommy, yes? Can we have goldfish princess crackers? Okay. Go in the room. Oh, dear Scorpio. So the page is an inspired um, essence, a, a, a kind of like, ooh, a, a little naughty thought that got in your mind. And now you're inspired to proceed um, with this desire. Okay, so overall energy, it looks like the new start of some type of desire could be even a little naughty, but let's see. Oh, this Scorpio. For the first card, we're going to pull Divine Masculine's energy at present. Palace of Swords. So the Divine Masculine has been really mental, um, very much in his mind regarding the situation, regarding the union, the friendship, the love re re relationship, whatever this is, dear Scorpio, to you, okay? Whoever this person is. Also, Divine Masculine could be feminine or masculine, right? It could be a male or a female. Divine Feminine can also be a male or a female. You'll know as it resonates for you as we encompass both energies within us all. And so, dear Scorpio, he's really mental in his mind and I use the term he loosely, but I'm always going to say he for divine masculine and she for the feminine, you all. But he is thinking about you. He's thinking about this situation, literally in the palace of swords. So his whole world is mental, more than physical. So you may not hear from this divine masculine because he's literally just thinking too much. He's in his mind. He's thinking about everything pertaining you both. Oh, dear Scorpio. Present energies, present energies for divine feminine. And we have the seven of wands. Seven of wands. This is effort, effort. I like that for you, divine feminine, because there's a lot of effort and drive here. There's passion to win, to succeed, to be victorious. Whereas divine masculine is only thinking about things and everything rather. Um, divine feminine seems to be doing a lot. Okay. Doing the most Leo energy here. 
Okay, and now we have how Divine Masculine views the Divine Feminine right now. Oh, the world. Divine Masculine thinks you are his world. Maybe this is why he's all up in his mind about it. Divine Masculine could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as swords are the air element, okay? Doesn't have to be. Just letting you know what I see thus far, but this is really beautiful. If they view you as the world, literally, they're thinking probably how to attain the world. You know, how can one gain the world? World, but not lose their own soul. Ooh, dear Scorpio. <laughs> the world, my dears. Divine Feminine, how are you viewing the masculine at the moment? Oh my God, two of cups, love. This is beautiful. This is absolute union. This is a romantic pair. This is like the feels, okay? So you see the two doves here. They're forming the image of a heart, my fave symbol, right? Mm. Um, dear Scorpio, this is your energy. I mean, with the water element, but it is really a cancer card right here. So a lot of you could have it in your moon rising Venus or could be dealing with cancers. Nonetheless, this is about reunion. This is about togetherness. Okay. This is about togetherness. That's what it is for, for so far about for the divine feminine. And again, the divine feminine is the one who seems to be actually doing the most, doing more, pertaining, making it real in the flesh. Okay, let's go. Number three is how the divine masculine views the relationship. Okay, the actual connection, the bond that you share. <gasps> this is so inspiring. Dear Scorpio, what a freaking dramatic, beautiful, romantic. Ooh, it's all about the feels. No wonder... Our overall energy, this page was just giving me that sultry eye. Like, yes, I'm ready for this. So, dear Scorpio, so far, so good on the same page. Divine Masculine viewing the relationship as the lovers. This is a Gemini card. Viewing the relationship as fun, okay? As uh, something that carries him, you know, carries him through his darkest days. Even your energy, your essence, your love is so needed and appreciated in divine masculine's life. Oh, dear Scorpio, divine feminine, how she's viewing the connection. Oh my God. No, literally you guys, this is the best Scorpio reading ever. This is for me anyway. I've never done so like Scorpio on point thinking about you as the world, you thinking of them as like your better half, your other half, you guys, the lovers, you guys, the ace of cups, two of cups. What is all of this? Wands everywhere. Oh, dear Scorpio. So the ace of cups, the divine feminine is looking at the masculine as offering a fresh start. So maybe whereas you guys didn't, you know, hit it, you know, on the nose the first time, this is like, it's going to work out. If this is someone who's coming back into your life, dear Scorpio, it's going to work out this time for you and this person because you're both on the same page. You're dedicated. You're committed. You're thinking about each other and you're doing what needs to be done to reunite. Okay. Woo. Number four is what the divine masculine would like to say to dear Scorpio. Dear Scorpio, this could be you. So what would you like to say to the divine feminine? Boop. Oh, six of cups. This is Virgo energy. This is you've been in my mind and my heart for so long. This is friendship. You have deep feels and a bond of friendship first. And honestly, dear Scorpio, that's how relationships work. That's the longevity secret. You know, friends first, everything else will fall into place. So that's what Divine Masculine wants to share with you in May 2020. Divine Feminine, what would you like to say to the masculine Knight of Cups? I'm coming your way. The Knight of Cups, this is your energy, dear Scorpio, water element, okay? The Knight is an active pursuit of. So emotionally, you're looking to bring them emotional fulfillment. As they indulge you, you shall indulge them. As they replenish your cup of water, you shall pour into theirs. You shall thirst no more. Oh, this Scorpio. Let me just break this down real quick because my guy, you guys got the two of cups, divine feminine, ace of cups, divine feminine, knight of cups, divine feminine, divine masculine has the lovers, divine masculine has the six of cups. Come on. It's like you're growing up together. You're growing into a mature, beautiful romance. This is really bliss. This is the best love reading I've done this week. 
viewing you as the world. And you guys just balancing each other out like yin yang. The thought and the action. Oh, dear Scorpio. Number five is challenges. The divine masculine might potentially need to face in order to bring this love forward. The sun. The sun. How? What is this as a challenge? I don't even know, you guys. Because the sun is joy. It's optimism. It's everything. So actually, then there it is. The divine masculine who seems to be heavily mental, heavily in his mind pertaining to the divine feminine pertaining your relationship. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking, you know, how can it be better? What should I do? You know, thinking, thinking, thinking. What he needs to focus on is the joy that you bring each other, okay? Instead of, you know, maybe getting a little stressed about plans and the future. Divine Masculine's challenge is to just enjoy the present. Enjoy the spark that Divine Feminine brings into his life, okay? This will reunite you. Divine feminine what is the challenge you may need to face and it is the four of coins now this in a love reading you guys the four of pentacles energy right here so this is virgo capricorn taurus energy dear scorpio it means that you need to be a little less possessive okay i hope nobody gets offended but this really means that you're like possessive you're like you know you're mine you have this divine masculine in a box in your heart and, and wherever on your shelf and you're like you can't go anywhere and you're watching them almost you know you know watching them very closely you know sometimes you you may be a little come on a little thick divine feminine <laughs> so your challenge would be just to kind of like breathe let them kind of be free you know um to plan and and to to actively pursue um you know, their, their contribution to the relationship, you know, you don't want to kind of like obsessively possess over what they should be doing and when, okay? So that's the challenge you might need to face, my dear divine feminine, in order to reunite, okay? Or to, in order to keep this thing going. And last, we have number six is, what is divine masculine hoping for by the end of May 2020? And we have the six of coins. This is Taurus energy. This is making me smile. This reading is beautiful. He's hoping for a give and a take. He's really hoping for equality in this um, relationship so that you guys can just be equals. That's literally all Divine Masculine wants, for you all to be equals. Oh, this Scorpio. And what is Divine Feminine hoping for? Ooh, the five of pentacles. Now this is going to need a clarifier because this is also Taurus energy. Okay, so whereas you're both matching each other there, so you both want something solid and stable. You both want serious commitment, so that's good. But the five of coins is usually when you lack in finance and resources. So I'm just going to go ahead and clarify with the Gilded Tarot. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Scorpio. This is really an exciting read. It's my first reading of the day. Oh, clarify and we have the two of cups again you all this is divine feminine energy so you're de no who had the two of cups yeah 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 divine feminine this is you all that all day all the way the two of cups okay so clarifying the two of cups you already got the two of cups cancer energy presents again so clarifying a lack of a feeling of um you know being left out in the cold that's not what you want but clarifying this with the two of cups for me This means you want, if by the end of May 2020, you want to know that you will not, you will absolutely, assuredly not be left out in the cold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You absolutely, assuredly want commitment, Divine Feminine, by the end of May 2020. You've been working towards this union. You literally let the, the cat out the bag, okay, already. You've already done so. So you're waiting now to see what transpires, okay? What will transpire between you both? Oh, dear Scorpio, bliss, bliss, bliss. My best Scorpio reading ever. Legit sauce. I love you all. As promised, what is the final outcome of your journey, dear Scorpio, May 2020? The Knight of Coins. Let me tell y'all. Let 
me tell y'all the give and take is gonna be had leaving you out in the cold again never this guy is, is gonna commit this gal is here for the long haul oh dear scorpio and the fact that the final outcome of your journey is the knight of coins remember the knight is active pursuit coins is pentacles it's solid it's commitment you guys are both on your horse and you're riding in the same damn direction so that means it's gonna work you're on the same page you want the same things and what it is more than anything that you want dear scorpio is each other Oh, dear Scorpio, be blessed. Reach out to me for your personals. I love you. Peace.